Oh, uh, I'm really sorry, ma'am. We don't have the facilities to wash cars. We just park them. Do I need to take your name? No, ma'am. I'll get it washed. See? You can do anything when you put your mind to it. So how's your love life? Love. Please. OK, forget that. Scott, is he still in the picture? He got boring, like all the others. Yes. Anything else today? Just a check, please. Thanks. Let me. How was that? No. Where were we? Relationships. How's Martin? The perfect husband. Still perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Business is really good. Cars are, like, flying off the lot. How much is he worth, anyway? Irrelevant. I love my husband. There you go, with this love thing again. You and me have been friends since we were, what, 10 years old? You used to be fun. You used to be Kimmy. I have redefined myself as a sophisticated woman, but one who is in total control of herself and her life. Sorry, Miss Howard. This card's been declined. Do you have another? It's perfectly good. Try it again. I've already tried it twice, ma'am. This is so degrading. Try putting this one through correctly this time. Hey, don't overreact to a rejected card. From me? I should sue them for slander. This one is declined also? That is ridiculous. You are just trying to embarrass me on purpose. I've got this. Thank you. I can't believe this. I'm sure it was a computer error. Or... It happens to everyone. I am not everyone. Work from the repo, man, and there are your bags. Thank you. Can you believe this? <sighs> James, I pay you to answer your phone. What kind of a lawyer are you? Meet me at my place immediately. Sit down, Kimberly, and be quiet. Excuse me? The money's gone. How can the money be gone? I thought the business was... If you think your massive, unchecked spending wasn't a big part of this, you're wrong. Those first-class trips to Europe, the penthouse suites, the beach house rentals, this oh, house... Come on, you could have warned me. Didn't you read the certified letters your mother and I sent you? What letters? I have the records where you signed for them, Kimberly. <sighs> you're broke. How much do I have left? Nothing. This can't be happening. Thanks for coming, Martha. What are you doing here, Mother? But half the money Daddy left us was mine. What happened? What happens to me? Your father and I didn't raise you this way. How could you lose all my money? Our money. I made some bad decisions. How will I live? Well, I hate to say this, but you're both going to have to get jobs. A job? And a place to live. No. No, I have a place to live. Get serious. You can't afford to rent this house now. I'm not moving. I have to. The bank is taking the house and everything in it to pay our debts. And I'll do whatever I can to help. Martha, I think I can get you a job in my office. What about me? I can't help with a job, but I own an apartment building. I can work something out to get an apartment for you both. Oh, thank you, James. That's sweet. That's, that's very wonderful of you. Sorry, one apartment. You, you want me to live with Mother? It's either that or you're out on the street. Look, I can loan you a couple thousand to get by on while you're looking for a job. Sure, I can survive on a couple of thousand a week. I'll just cut back. Two thousand total. What? Can I get a job application? I'm willing to accept anything in upper management. <laughs> well, that is the last time I shop in 
in your store. benefit on Saturday? I hear there's gonna be so many single guys there. Rich. Single guys. No, I, I didn't get <laughs> tickets this year. So what have you been up to lately? Not much. Same old, really. I have to go. I'm meeting a friend. Yeah. We'll call you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no one will hire me. Hmm. Do you think that maybe it has something to do with your attitude? If I don't find a job that pays at least $10,000 a month in the next few days, I am gonna lose all of this and have to move in with my mother. $10,000 a month. <laughs> your expectations are a little high, don't you think? I mean, you have zero work history. You can't start off expecting to be the boss. I have an idea. You can hire me. To do what? To be your teacher's assistant. You know how great I am with kids. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna be able to help you with that. But I'm poor and desperate. I don't even have a car. Oh, I can help you with that. One of the perks of having a husband who owns a car dealership, he can give you a loaner. Do I get to choose the color? No, you take what we give you. And you know what? I might be able to help you find a real job. It's not a boss job, it's just a sales job, but I mean, it's something. What's the job? Miss Howard, I'm Dee. Thanks for coming in. You're welcome. Are you familiar with this model? Yes, it's the latest in ellipticals. It applies open stride technology, but in the bicycle format. Hmm. You know your fitness machines. Well, looking as good as I do requires some gym time every now and then. Okay, right. So what about other sporting goods? Do you know anything about uh, football, basketball? Uh, what about golf? Oh, so boring. I do like the pretty resorts, though. Oh. Oh, excuse me. This is cast iron. <laughs> and the grips are just metal scorings. You need... It's one that's coated in neoprene. Like this. It makes for a better grip when you sweat, so it won't slip around so much and ruin that expensive manicure. Nice, by the way. That was excellent. What was? You sold her a more expensive product. But more importantly, you helped her find a better product for her needs. I just hated to see a good manicure go to waste. Michael. Hey, Dee, what's up? I would like you to meet Kimberly, the woman I told you about. Hi. Hi. Kimberly doesn't have a lot of retail experience, and she's going to need some, a lot of training, but I think she's also got potential. Are you willing to learn? Absolutely. She's hired. Really? Dee thinks you got what it takes, and I trust her. Okay. You heard the boss. We can get you started day after tomorrow. Show up at 8, and we'll get your paperwork all squared away. 8. In the morning? Yes. 8 a.m. Oh, is this one of those negotiating things? Am I supposed to counter? No. <laughs> You're supposed to show up day after tomorrow at 8. Oh. Okay. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. We'll see you soon, Kimberly. 8 a.m. Mm. Are you kidding me? Where am I supposed to 
supposed to park around here? Uh, anywhere on the street. Or there's spaces in the alley around the corner if you want. I mean, where's the garage? We don't have a garage. Look, your mother's in unit 114. She'll be happy to see you. Well, park for me, will you? Oh, sure thing. Oh, you know, it's, it's Tuesday, right? Tuesday? Valet's off today. Sorry. the rest of it the rest of what the upstairs the master bath how many guest rooms are there oh come on there's gotta be stairs somewhere well this is the bathroom and my bedroom's over here that's the living room and well you're standing in the dining room you expect me to live here oh come on it's not that bad james owns this uh-huh he couldn't have given you anything better? James isn't giving me anything. I am renting this apartment from him. And speaking of money, how are you going to pay the rent for your half? Oh, I'm going to be just fine. I just came from a job interview where they hired me on the spot. Start the day after tomorrow. Really? Doing what? Sales. That's wonderful. Now, are you going to be able to use your degree for this? Well, um, sporting goods. Go ahead and laugh, Mother. I know it's pathetic and ridiculous. I'm not laughing. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Well, I'll probably be a manager or something pretty quickly. You sure you want to work in those shoes? Yeah. Some of this outfit needs to be stylish. <laughs> okay. It's all about making sure that our customers leave happy. If you have questions about a sport you're not familiar with, feel free to ask any of the salespeople for help. Hmm? Oh, there's somebody. Why don't you go give it a try? Can I help you, sir? Yeah, um, sorry, I haven't seen you in here before. I'm new. So how can I help? Jogging shoes? I like to run. You like to run? Yeah. Of course I do. But are you sure you just want the shoes? You need to look really good when you go running to get noticed. That's why you're running, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess, yeah. What size are you? Thanks again. You're welcome. Come back soon. You not only sold him running shoes, but an entire workout wardrobe as well. Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? Hey, bud. Seatbelt. All right, what's wrong? Garrett, he told everyone today that he could just go to the Arizona Pro Baseball Camp this summer. Good for him. You know that's the one that I want to go to, right? David, it's just incredibly expensive. Mom would let me go. Buddy... Your mom loved you more than anything in the world. It's just not in the cards this year, okay? Hey, would a milkshake help? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, it's Peyton. Tom, Steve, Kimberly. Thank you. I know payday is everybody's favorite day of the week, but you're the most enthusiastic person I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, well, let's just say that this money is already spent. Oh, girl, I hear that. Well, where's the rest of it? The rest of what? My paycheck. This is only like $500. Well, that sounds about right. It might be a little higher or lower depending on how much they took out in taxes. Taxes. 
whole week's work, and I only got paid five hundred dollars. Well, that's a lot more than some people make. I'm gonna be stuck living with my mother forever. Come stay with us. You can you can sleep on our futon. Thanks, Jackie. But I don't think living with a couple of newlyweds is a good idea for either of us. That's what friends are for. Friends, you are a genius, Jackie. I am. I am gonna call Rebecca and Shauna. Their places are huge. They will have plenty of space for me. Maybe you should just concentrate on getting a second job. I already have one job. Now you want me to get another one? It's not exactly unheard of. Shouldn't. Don't be desperate. <laughs> it's Kim. What should I do? Um, mm. Hey, Rebecca, it's Kim. Not sure if you're getting my messages. I could really use a place to stay for a wee while. Call me. that you're here. Don't rub it in, Mother. I had no choice. Well, I love that you're moving in. Thank you for letting me stay here for a while. That almost sounded sincere. Yeah, well, I'm trying to be. Oh, I cannot believe we're going to be sharing a bedroom. We're not. We're not? Heavens no. Bedroom is mine. Your bed's there. Of course it is. Coffee? So the first thing you need to figure out is whether we're talking about softball or baseball. The biggest equipment issue customers usually have is knowing what gloves and bats to buy. Thankfully, whoever owns this store had the good sense to separate the softball from the baseball equipment to make it easy to find. <laughs> okay, well, seems easy enough. You know, sometimes the best way to learn is just to see it for yourself. I mean, if you really want to learn about this stuff, I'm coaching a youth baseball practice tomorrow at Free Park. You can come out and see a real team in action. Really? I'd love that. I, I really do want to learn more about all of this. Great. I'll get you the information. for baseball practice. That's nice of you to say. You guys know each other? Uh, why don't you go warm up, dude? And yes, this is Kimberly. She works at the store. And you invited her to practice? You go warm up, okay? Please? Good kid. How old is he? Uh, 10. Going on 30. <laughs> so, how do I learn baseball? Uh, the hard way? I think you're gonna have a difficult time running in those heels. Run? You know, around, around the bases. Bases? On the diamond? So what, do you win them or what? Where have you been hiding that you know so little about sports? Look, I want to learn as much as I can so I can be the best at my job as I can be. I like that in a salesperson. But next time, maybe wear something a little more casual. I had no idea what to wear. You look great. Just not for baseball. <laughs> I think I have a spare t-shirt in my car. Let me get it for you. Nice fit. So you want to come toss the ball with me? Sounds great. Let's get you a glove. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. So here, I'm going to give you an infielder's glove. Okay. 
and I have a catcher's mitt. You see the difference? Yeah. See all this extra padding? Yeah. Okay, so pop that on your hand, head up here, and I'll toss you the ball. Ah. Uh... Will it help? Yeah. <laughs> Just on your left hand. Slide that in there, make sure you get your thumb in here. Nice and snug? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay. Ah, uh, perfect. Ready? Mm-hmm. There you go. It's not that hard, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. There you go. Sorry. Nope, nothing to be sorry about. I don't catch them all either. Let's try it again. Wait a sec. Oh, okay. Getting serious. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's do it. All right, ready? You ready for some heat? Yes. <laughs> You are a natural. Are you tell me you haven't done this before? Never. <laughs> Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I had fun today. Baseball isn't as hard as I thought. Well, what we did wasn't exactly baseball. It was more like getting ready to learn baseball. There's more? Oh yeah, there's a lot more. It's gonna take a little work to understand it all. I don't mind work. That's what I like to hear. I had so much fun. How can I thank you? Can I, can I buy you dinner or something? I, I gotta get my son home, do his homework. Son? Remember 10 going on 30? Oh, he's your son. Yeah, of course, take your son. Thank you again. I heard of practice. David, please. That was purely business. Look, I get that you're worried about me, but you don't need to be. Dad, I love you. And I don't want you to be alone. You guys are gonna make me cry. You sure it's not the onions? Uh-huh. How was the pizza? Chester, you can experiment on us anytime. That was great. What was the chewy stuff? That was good. Squid. Are you trying to poison me? <laughs> Look at us, Mother. It's pathetic. We're paupers. Do you have your health? A job? Barely a job. You should see what I'm getting paid. Then find another. It's easier to find one when you have one. <laughs> yeah, how would you know? Your father and I had nothing when we first got married. We both worked full time. Your father worked two jobs. We barely saw each other the first few years. You want to get paid more? Work hard. Get a second job. No, I'm sorry, Mother. This has got to have been hard for you, too. Honey, it's not the perfect situation, but I love that you're here. help wanted sign out front now I can only work part-time but I could really use the extra money do you still need somebody uh, well do you know your way around a restaurant well I used to eat exclusively at them for years until recently when I can't afford it but I have been in hundreds of them all over the world so I guess that makes me an expert okay you're hired. Really? Really. Oops. Anyway, I'm glad we're having dinner together like we used to. And this is delicious. Well, the place? 
It's kind of a dive. And the owner, Chester, he is a character, but you're right, this is fantastic. You keep working there and bringing this home. Speaking of, where's the money from your job? Um, James's company pays once a month, so I should be getting a check soon, and then I'll throw it in the kitty. Hey, you work here? Yes, I do. Let me put these down and I'll be right with you. I'm in a hurry. Okay. How can I help you? Uh, my nephew, he wants some kind of skateboard for his birthday. All right, well, we have a few different varieties. Uh, is he experienced? Is he just starting out? <laughs> He's a kid, he wants a board with wheels. It's not rocket science. Well, they vary in price and size. It'd help if Does I knew. Does it look like I care about price? My shoes cost more than you make in a week. Okay, uh, well, leopard's in. What is that? The Chester's uniform. You want me to wear that? We must maintain the Chester standard. Standards? Yeah, two extra large pepperoni pizzas. No, extra cheese. Okay. Yeah, that'll be about 20 minutes. Thank you for calling Chester's. Hey, are you trying to start a new fashion trend? This is what I have been reduced to. Oh, honey, I know it's hard, but hang in there. It has to get better. Excuse me. Hey, what can I get for you? Can I get a refill, please? Go home, go home. Good throw, good. Roll back, roll back. Go, go, back to the back. Toss it in. Good, all right, hold that. Bring it in, guys. Bring it in. Come on, hustle in. Take a knee. Come on, hustle in. That's good, guys. You look good out there. Keep it up. Good things are going to happen for us. All right, have a good week, and I'll see you at the game. Come on, grab your gear. Get that right to you. Thank you for calling Chester's. I'm gonna work on your swing a little bit tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, you get there. Michael! Kimberly, what are you doing here? You're working here? Yeah. Well, I was driving past and I saw the help wanted sign. Money's a little tight, so here I am. Here you are. Did I do something wrong? No, no, absolutely not. It's just. Am I not paying you enough? No, you have been wonderful. And the store is great. It's just, well, it's tough out there. And Chester will flex my hours. I think it's nice she's working here. Why don't you go wash your hands while I work? Dad. Go. It's, it's a nice shirt. Oh, not my choice, but thanks. Are you gonna order or just flirt with the help? Yeah, yeah, um, one extra large pepperoni and two medium drinks. Coming up. Hey, again? Yeah, I'm thirsty. More root beer, please. What is this? Another refill? What do you like to do for fun? You ask a lot of questions. Okay, uh... Well, I like the snow. I like the beach. I also love good food. I like watching you play baseball. You could come see me play this Saturday. My dad says no more soda. Can I have water, please? 
What's your favorite color? What's your favorite TV show? Where are you putting this all? How old are you? Whoa. One question too many. Thank you for the pizza and for the great customer service. Not many people could have kept smiling after refill number 81. Uh, he seems like a good kid. Smart. Asks a lot of questions. You ready to go? Are you? I'll see you work tomorrow. You bet. doing a good job. You're doing fantastic. Where'd that come from? Let's just, I waited on those customers, hand and foot. And look at this tip jar. It's nearly empty. It's not fair. Some people are just like that. They don't mind paying for the food, but they think service comes free. Sorry. I guess I've known people like that before. Hey, what are you doing? I thought we were open for at least another 15 minutes. Well. The hours are flexible. Hi. We're closed. Hi. Not for me. I want some of that pizza. Mm-hmm. And you are? My mother. Why are you here? I needed to meet the genius behind that unbelievable pizza. You must be Chester. I'm Martha. Kimberly, you didn't tell me your mama was such a classy lady. <laughs> mm, what is this? This is better than the last one. Duck breast, scallions, shiitake mushrooms, hoisin sauce. Mm, amazing. I didn't ask Kimberly, is there a Mrs. Chester? I'm married to this place. Well, it sounds like you and Michael have a lot in common. He wasn't always like that. His wife died three years ago, and all he cares about now is work and his son. That's awful. Uh, Chester, everything's prepped for tomorrow. I'm gonna head home. Mother? I'm staying. I'm gonna finish my pizza. If that's okay with you, Chester. Of course. Well, I'll see you at home. You live together? We do. It's complicated. Good night. Good night. How complicated? <laughs> How many millions? Uh, enough. All gone? Yes. All gone. Enough about me. What about you? My papa's a pizza man, I'm a pizza man. We came here from Italy when I was 15, we couldn't speak English. And we opened up a pizza place. That's all I've ever known. I love Italy. My late husband and I honeymooned in Venice. I love everything Italian. Good night, Chester. Good night, Martha. came to the game and I started waving to her. Really? Yeah. Hi. 
Come on, come on. Thank you so much. You're great. Really nice of you to come watch the game. Of course. Wouldn't have missed it for the world. And I learned more about baseball. Still don't know the rules yet, but I'll get there. I'm sure you will. Michael, can I talk to you? Sure. What's up? You, I hope. Out for dinner. Yeah, sure. A little late notice, but... Not with me. With Laura, a lovely, eligible single woman. D, no. I thought I was clear about that. I am not taking no for an answer. Meet the girl. It can't hurt you. And I will watch David. You are not going to give this up, are you? Okay. You won't be sorry. Just please give her an honest chance. I'll see her. That's all I'll promise. Now, come on. You got checks to sign. Let's go. Good afternoon. Welcome to Downers. Thank you. So, how are you and your mom doing? It's kind of scary. We are talking without fighting for the first time in years and your two jobs <laughs> so much work for hardly any money <sighs> but i'm coping who'd have thought well on behalf of your fellow women welcome to the real world oh oh um okay i'll get one right over to you okay but not too much i don't want her to get suspicious no problem i'm happy to pay you very little <laughs> Thank you, James. I mean it. I'm... I'm seeing something in her that I haven't seen since her daddy passed. And I love it. Well, that's great, Martha. Thank you. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, maybe. Have you uh, worked here a while? Not too long, but I feel like I know my way around. Anything specific you wanted? Yeah, some information. I don't know if they're hiring. You'd have to talk to Dee. I can go get her. No, no, no. No, this is um, about the owner. Michael? Yes, Michael. I was just wondering if you could tell me a little bit about him. I know it's weird. It's just... I have a blind date with him. And... Really? <laughs> Michael? He just seems too good to be true. You know what? Everything you've heard probably is true. He's a great boss. A pretty amazing guy. Thanks, that helps. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Great. I'm gonna take a look around. Mm -hmm. Is everything okay? You seem a little down. I'm fine. Really? Because I've known you for a long time and you don't seem fine. Okay, it's just, you remember that guy, Michael? Your boss? Mm -hmm. I haven't been around a guy like him in a while. You should see him with his son. He is such a good dad. Aw, he sounds like a great guy. Let's talk about you. How's school? It's okay. I'm worried about my students, though. I mean, I talk to my friends who work at private schools, and they just seem to have so many more resources than we do. I'm sorry, Jackie. Wish I still had my money. I'll give some of it to your kids. Thanks, Kim. We'll figure something out. That was a lovely dinner, thank you. Pleasure. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not good at this. You know, I dated one woman my whole life and married her. Never even thought about being with anybody else. Well, you know, you're gonna have to make room for someone eventually. Otherwise, it'll be pretty lonely. <laughs> Is that funny? No, no, I'm sorry. You just sound like my son. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. You should. So are we going to try this again? I would like to. You're a really nice person. You know, and I, believe it or not, I enjoyed this. And it proved that maybe I am ready for a relationship again. 
So thank you for that. Wow. That was the nicest brush off I've ever gotten. <laughs> that was a brush off, right? <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. She's a lucky girl, whoever she is. But if you ever decide to date anyone else, I call dibs, okay? <laughs> I'm really sure how to answer that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Thanks. You need to save me from vegetables. That's all D wanted to feed me tonight. I'll take any pizza with meat on it. Yeah, he's had a traumatic vegetable experience. Okay. One all meat pizza coming up. Yes. How was your night? Have you had a break yet tonight? Chester, can I take a break? some money for some video game tokens later. David. Please? Yeah, sure. One time deal, okay? Wait a sec. I'll be right back. Don't blow this. What? Her? This? She's great. Ask her on a real date. David, she still works for me. If you can't change the rule, then fire her and date her. And hire her back. Why don't you get to be so smart? I think it's the internet. <laughs> Here are some tokens. Whoa! Thanks, Kimberly. <laughs> yeah. That was nice. You want to get some air? Michael, I'm so sorry. Claire was a champ. But, but I think it's time for a change. Don't you? What do you mean? I've been struggling with my own rules. Dating employees. Wait, I'm the first girl you've wanted to date in three years. Then I quit. What? I quit. I resign. But you need this job. Hey, Chester! Yeah! Can I come work for you full time? Sure. When do you want to start? Now. Done! Does that solve your problem? Um, yeah. So, when's our first date? So, did you fire her? She quit. On her own. That's great. If I have to stay at D's, will you let me bring my own dinner? <laughs> Deal. I'm proud of you. Well, it's easier to find another job than it is to find a good man. He told me about his blind date, his life. He was open and honest. I've never met a man like that. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for me. I get to keep you full time. With a raise. A raise? Yeah. Otherwise, I take a pay cut working here. Are you forgetting about the tips? Okay. A raise. Thank you. Thank you. So 
this thing with Michael, that was unexpected. It just happened. It wasn't forced or planned. You know, I'm starting to wish you lost your money a long time ago. Why would you wish that? Because now I have my kidney back. I hate to admit it, but you're right. I was horrible. Entertaining, but horrible. How could you still be my friend? Because I love who I know you are, deep down inside. Need some help? No, nope, pretty much done. Your little girl did all the work before she went home. You know, I can't believe she quit her job at the sporting goods store to date her boss. You never did anything for love? Not in a long, long time. It's not too late. Is it? After seeing the changes in Kimberly, anything's possible. Very true. Yes, anything is possible. That lightens my heart. <laughs> Kimberly comes to work full time, and her mother gets to visit more often. <laughs> Thank you for a wonderful evening. It's my pleasure. It's not often I get to spend time with a beautiful woman. <laughs> Stop it. I worry about you and Kimberly. I want to help. I want to give you money. Oh, no. No, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dream of it. I don't mean to offend you, I... Chester. I think that is the sweetest offer anyone's ever made me. can't take your money. Hey, James. Hey. Nice to see you. Hey. Um, I was just here to check on your mother. Really? Don't you see her all the time? She works for you. Oh, yes, of course she does. I, yeah, but it's a big firm, it's busy, and I don't get to see her much at all. And I like to look in on my real estate investments once in a while. She's inside. So, well, how are you doing? I couldn't be better. Thank you so much for your generosity. Oh. No, really, the apartment, mother's job. You really stepped up in our hour of need, and for that, I just, I want you to know I really appreciate it. There isn't much I wouldn't do for your family, you know that. If I ever get the chance to pay you back, I will. It's a promise. I'm off to work. <laughs> okay. I'll see you later. All right. Hmm. Okay, you win. I don't know who that was out there, but it sure looked like Kimberly. Didn't act like her. It's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, well, maybe you've gotten what you wanted. Maybe it's time to end this and get back into your home. I'm kind of enjoying it here with Kimberly. Think we can stay just a little bit longer? Well, you own this building, so you don't have to ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I do think you should stop now. Get back to real life. Mm, I'm afraid to. Why, you afraid she'll revert back? No, no, no. That's, that's the least of my worries. I'm concerned about the other person that I lied to. <laughs> oh, every time. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I laughed like this. This picnic was a good idea. <laughs> well, I had ulterior motives. Oh? It's time to see how you are at batting. You're gonna trust me with a bat? Oh, yeah, next logical step in our relationship, I think. <laughs> so you've never done this before? No, I'm kind of nervous. Okay, you're going to be great. Okay. You're good with throwing the ball. <laughs> yeah, that was all right. So you right. left or right-handed? Right-handed. Right, -handed. right -handed. Yeah. On the other side. <laughs> right. <Okay. laughs> Wait, switch, switch your hands. Yeah, that's it. Right way. Down there, down closer. And you want to hit anything that's right here. Just keep your weight balanced on both feet. And anything that's right here... You swing for it. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go easy on you. You ready? I'm ready. 
<laughs> you think this is funny? Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm not as athletic as you. Sorry. Here, pitch it again. Okay. You ready? Whoa. I got a point. <laughs> you got a point. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Let's see if this is not beginner's luck. Hey. Oh! You're a pro. More! 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 <laughs> I had such a great time. I got a lot of points. <laughs> you sure did. Oh, Chester said that I can take tomorrow afternoon off to watch David's last game. That's great. But I hope it's not his last game. We win tomorrow, we make it to the playoffs. I'm gonna hope you win. I'll be there cheering. <laughs> hey, thank you for today. For everything. I'm very grateful Kimberly walked into my fine dining establishment. If I didn't spot her potential, I wouldn't have met you. You're wonderful women. Thank you. You know, you you wouldn't have recognized Kimberly before she started working here. She's a good kid. You should be proud. I am very proud of her. But, um, oh, Chester. I'm not so proud of myself. I did something. I, I lied. To her, to you. Jackie, I had the best date. You were right. Losing the money was absolutely the best thing that could have ever happened to me. Wow, I have never heard you sound so happy. I am. I really am. I wish I could chat, but I'm meeting Martin for dinner, and I'm already late. Yeah, yeah, go. Oh, and can you tell him that I am beginning to fall in love with my new little car? Bye. You never lost the money? That wasn't true? No. I, I made it up, and I feel terrible about deceiving you. Especially since you were so sweet wanting to loan me money. I'm sorry. I know what you were trying to do. That, I understand. Do you? Sure I do. Things like that that are done from love, they deserve special forgiveness. Really? But don't do it again. I promise. You know, you should tell her now. I know you had her best interests at heart, and it kind of worked. Kind of. She's a different person. Well, I never knew her before. But maybe you should tell her for you. I mean, if somebody did that to me, I'd want to get back at him. That's what I'm afraid of. You want me to go with you? No. No, I, I have to do this myself. Got it. There is something I wanted to ask you way before I knew you were loaded. Ask me what? For a date. What took you so long? We'll talk later. Kimberly, we need to talk. I'm off to work, and then David's baseball game. Uh, let's talk tonight. Love you. Love you. I'm so excited.
excited for you and your dad. Hey, Garrett. Nice game. That was a really nice thing to do. He's probably feeling a bit sad, and you would have made him feel a little better. He's not sad. He's one of the luckiest guys I know. How's that? They lost. He gets to go to the Arizona Pro Baseball Camp this summer. Is that a big deal? Only everything. Everything. Dad says it's way too expensive. Sorry you can't go. It's the best baseball camp in the world. Hey, you two. You think we should celebrate? I do. I think I could even get a discount on the pizza. And a cup of tokens? For the team that's going to the playoffs? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, you should have been there. David made the last out, and now his team is going to the playoffs. Oh, that's amazing. And you should have seen how nice David was to the losing team. He is such a good kid. Okay, I gotta say, I have never seen you this enthusiastic about sports or kids before. You know his team's equipment is like 15 years old? I wish I could afford to buy the team all new equipment before the playoffs. David doesn't need you to buy him things. He just needs you to be there for him. Besides, a lack of resources builds character, right? At least, that's why I tell my students. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Kimberly. Hear me, what are you doing sitting here in the dark? Waiting for you. Michael's team won the game. They're in the playoffs. It was so great to be a part of. Oh, it's wonderful. I look at you and see what I always knew you could be. What? You've changed so much. And I'm very proud of you. So I want to tell you that what I did, I did for love. What did you do? <sighs> Are you feeling any better? Oh, Kimberly, I'm... I'm so sorry. But I, I really believe what I did was for the best. Can you ever forgive me? Forgive you? Mother, I want to thank you. If you hadn't have done this, I never would have learned how people live. Most importantly, I never would have met Michael. It's true. I never would have met Chester. Is there something going on there? You really want to know? No. Not really. <laughs> I've had James put all of your money back into your accounts and order you new credit cards. You are a rich woman again. I was rich before he put the money back. I know exactly what I want to do with it. It really is the top of the line, so whenever you're ready, I got plenty in stock. Okay, thank you. Guess who? Exactly who I wanted it to be. I'd hug you, but it's work. You're not an employee. <sighs> Listen, I have to run. I got to meet a ski equipment distributor, but we're still on for tonight, right? Yeah, that is exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. I want to take you to dinner. 8 p.m., Donner's, my treat. Your treat? Donner's? Please? You know what, okay. I don't know about the whole your treat part, but for you, I wouldn't miss it. But now I gotta go, so I'll see you tonight. Yes. Dee. Hey. I need your help with something. Okay. I want to get this for Michael's baseball team. Uh, I'm confused. This is thousands of dollars worth of merchandise. You want to buy this? Yeah, for the playoffs. 
And if there's anything that I left off the list, just add it. Honey, how are you going to pay for this? I can write a check. I can use a credit card. If you want, I can go get cash. You're serious? I have never been more serious in my life. Okay. all this just getting an order ready for delivery this is all one order yeah i got it how could i not know about this can i see the invoice i got it d may i see it kimberly wanted to keep it a secret I was hoping you'd be working tonight. You know what, I, I don't even know your name. It's Brad. Brad. Brad, I owe you so many apologies. I treated you so badly and said so many awful things to you. Please forgive me. I know I acted like a complete monster, but this is really important for me. Wow. You're not kidding. No, I'm not. And I forgive you. You have no idea how nice that is to hear. Can I get you anything? A glass of wine on the house? <laughs> I would like that. Are you okay? Can you, can you explain this to me? This was supposed to be a surprise. Well, it certainly is. Sit down, please. I will explain everything. I know what you're thinking, but I can afford it, okay? I'm rich again. Again? Wait, you see, I used to have a lot of money, a lot, and then it was gone. My mother, she said that we lost it, but that was a lie. Which is actually okay, because I never would have met you if she hadn't have done it. Now I have my money back. I don't understand. Of course you don't. This all happened before I met you. See, I got the job at your store because I thought that I had lost all my money. Now that it's back, I don't want it for me. I, I want to use it to help others. The, your sports team, to help David. David? Yes. The Arizona Pro Baseball Camp. I want to pay for it. He can go now. You did this without asking me. I told David that we couldn't afford to go this year. It's a gift. But what does that teach him about the value of things? About how you, if we want something bad enough, we have to earn it or work for it. Look, I just wanted to give him what he dreamed about. Look, I, I, don't, I don't know what your story is or even who you really are, but it sounds too complicated for me. No, Michael, it's the truth. I can't. Michael. The money has ruined everything. I don't want it anymore. You can keep it. Well, you don't mean that. And you can't make that decision when you're this upset. I just want things to go back to the way they were. <laughs> okay, listen, you'll never guess what I heard. Uh, Amy's dad got a facelift? No. Oh, um, oh, Richard likes to play golf on a public course? No. Oh. It turns out that Kim never lost her money. It was all some elaborate scheme by her mom to make her more down to earth or something stupid like that. Oh my gosh, I died. 
I would die. That's like child abuse. I know, right? We should call her. The best way to get over a man is to buy a new outfit. Or six. And now that you have your money back, you can buy as many outfits as you need until you're happy again. Anyway, how did you guys find out that I got my money back? I haven't heard from either of you in weeks. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry about that. I was traveling and then I had this benefit thingy and I've just been like really busy. You know, you gotta look at this as a blessing in disguise. Now you're free to date whoever you want, now that you're rich again. <gasps> Jonathan, we have to set her up with Jonathan. Oh my God, you love Jonathan. No, I am definitely not ready to start dating again. Oh. Nonsense. We're setting you up with Jonathan, and we will not take no for an answer. Nope. Best idea ever. Really good idea. On his lap. He deserved it. He was the rudest man I have ever met. I can't believe Rebecca and Shauna thought that I would like him. Well, maybe the old you would have liked him. You're probably right. I was a horrible person. You're not that bad. Oh, come on. Okay. Do you think you're gonna move back into your old place? I heard they don't have renters yet. I don't know. Well, the girl who lived there feels like such a different person to me. Yeah, you're right. She does. I like this girl. Let's go. Hello, David. Is Kimberly here? Nope, not here. I need to find her. You know where she lives? What's going on? Dad came home and sat and stared at the wall. He wouldn't tell me what happened, but I think it's got to be about Kimberly. Let Chester take care of this, all right? I'll fix it. Thanks, Chester. Honestly, uh, I don't know. I'm a bit of a mess right now. Kimberly? Did you know that she was rich? Well, not before she bought the equipment. I mean, did she win the lottery? No, no. She fed me some story about how she used to be rich, and then she lost it all, and then became rich again. Good for her. Well, it's ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? I'm sure it's happened before. I've read about it. Yeah, but not from one day to the next. Does she make you happy? 
Do you like her? Does her having money make any difference? I have nothing in common with her. You sure about that? What are you doing here? My job. You don't need this job. I assume once you got the money, you'd quit. She told you? Look, she did what she did because she loves you. Oh, she tell you she ruined my life? I told her to take the money back. You what? And that money made me an awful person. The money made you. It does sound kind of crazy. You're right, it was me. I was awful when I had it. I don't want to be that person anymore. You're an excellent person. And nothing's going to stop you from staying that way. But you. All I wanted was to give Michael and David gifts to make them happy. What did you do? I got Michael all new equipment for his team. And tried to send David to that camp that he wanted. I wouldn't have it. You didn't tell him what your mother did. Yeah, I tried to. He wouldn't listen. He's proud. Give him some time. He'll cool off. No, uh, you didn't see him. I think it's over. I hope I can still keep my job here. <laughs> you always have a job here. I love this place. Chester, you always saw me for who I was, rich or poor. You're good here. Believe it. Does that mean I don't have to wear this t-shirt anymore? Get back to work. <laughs> to stay here. I mean, you have access to your money. At least find a better place. No, this is where I want to be. Hey, I even have the bedroom this time. Okay. I think that you might be taking this a little too far. No, I am trying really hard to build a whole new life. I really need your support here. Honey, I think you know that you have always had my support. Yeah, I do. You stuck by me when I was at my worst. Now it's time for me to pay you back. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want your money. Yes, you do. I want to outfit your classroom this year. Supply you with anything your students need to make your life easier at work. I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh. Chester. <sighs> what have I done? Kimberly has lost the only man that she has ever really cared about, and she hates me for it. The law of unintended consequences. I feel awful. I need to fix this. Yes, you do. But this time you get involved in your daughter's life to put it back the way it was, not to change it. You're welcome. I do for you? I'm looking for Michael. I'm Dee, the store manager. I'm Martha Howard, Kimberly Howard's mother. Oh. <sighs> Michael, there's a woman here to see you. Not now, Dee. Can you take care of it? No. This one is all yours. Michael, I'm Martha, Kimberly's mother. Well, 
You do look miserable. We'll take that as a good sign. What can I do for you? Listen to me. I have heard her riches to rags to riches story. Did she send you here? Oh, no. No, 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 no. She would be horrified if she knew I was here. And it's not a story. It's true. I, I, I made it all up. I did it so she could turn into the kind of woman that I always knew she could be. The kind of person that she really is inside. I have been going over and over in my head what she told me. I'm trying to make sense of it. She was the sweetest little girl growing up. And when her father passed away suddenly, she inherited a great deal of money. And she used that money to fill up her emptiness. She became a person that you wouldn't even want to know. And I had to do something about it. She doesn't even want the money. She doesn't. No, she said she was happier without it. She was happiest with you. But you're gone. And I'm here to try to fix it. I don't even know what to say. You two are crazy about each other. That's all that matters. And now that you're armed with the truth, I am asking you to give my daughter a chance. You are miserable without her, aren't you? I am. Okay. Hi, James. I need you to do me a favor. Just right this way. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Menu. Enjoy. You feeling better? Not really. My lawyer called. I'm meeting him here for dinner to sign some lease papers. I'm renting an apartment from him. Can I get you a glass of wine? Oh, that sounds perfect. Brad, I'm not in the mood for champagne. A gentleman had this sent to your table, ma'am. He did? Was there a note? No. There is a message he made me memorize, though. He wanted me to tell you that he is so very sorry that he didn't listen. He says he was misguided. And he begs you for forgiveness and another chance. What brought about this change of heart? A visit from a wise woman named Martha, who set him straight. Which was just in time, because he couldn't stop thinking about you anyway. He said all of that. Word for word. Did he say anything else? He said he's fallen in love with you. My chair, I need to get up so I can give you my answer for him. So, what do you want me to tell him?
There you go. Go, 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 go. Keep going. Go to two. Go to two. Go to two. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Yeah. Good running, David. Good running. Good running, David. Good man. Great running. David, watch me. Let's go, Curtis. Hôm nay chúng ta cùng tô bức tranh này nhé Đám mây mình sẽ tô màu xanh nhé Xong rồi, mũ mình sẽ tô màu xanh lá cây nhá Áo mình sẽ tô màu đỏ Giày mình sẽ tô màu tím Cây hoa này mình cũng sẽ tô màu xanh nhé
thân cây này mình sẽ tô màu nâu Lá cây mình sẽ tô màu xanh Những chấm cây này mình sẽ tô màu đỏ Bây giờ mình sẽ tô chậu cây Mình sẽ tô mai ốc nhé Bây giờ mình sẽ tô đồng cỏ Là mình đã đã xong rồi. Hẹn gặp các bạn ở video tiếp theo nhé.